US President Joe Biden at the COP27 climate summit in Egypt, riding high after a better than expected midterm elections. His message, we will hit our emissions targets, and so should everyone else. Yes, the challenges we face are great, but our capacity is greater than the challenges. We must never doubt that. So let's reach out and take the future in our hands and make the world we wish to see and that we know we need a planet preserved for generations to come. Joe Biden may be here to inject some momentum into this summit, but there is deep concern amongst the delegates here because of new and repeated warnings from scientists that the world is running out of time to limit global warming. Even with the American charm offensive underway, Sky News understands that behind the scenes there is growing frustration amongst Western climate diplomats that some nations are becoming less, not more committed to the global target of keeping warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Do you still genuinely believe that 1.5 degrees is within reach? We have to believe that and we have to do it. That is, uh, that we don't really have an alternative and that's what people have to get used to the idea that this is a must and that we have to make the decisions necessary uh, to honor that uh, goal. What do we want? Climate justice! No! These activists from across Africa have plenty to say about honor. America is still the second largest polluter in the world, they say. And although today it announced new support for Egypt to develop wind power and more money to help vulnerable African nations adapt to climate change, it is still falling far short of what is needed. This is a do or die. People are busy drowning. People are busy starving to death because of the rising temperatures. And people cannot adapt to starvation while agriculture is being halted in countries like mine. So it's either now or it's never because we are hitting a dead end where these climate change effects cannot be reversed. Joe Biden's brief visit to this summit was designed to galvanize more action, even as America exports record volumes of oil. Another injustice, one of many, for those on the front lines of climate change. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt.